Good morning. Let's get this brew day going. Just hanging out with baby boy until Papa Bear gets up. Oh. I'm done with Cheerios now, buddy. It's not grapes. You don't want it. Okay. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a Mybach. So we have seven pounds of Wireman Pilsner. We have six pounds of Wireman Vienna. One pound of uh, Avantgarde Dark Munich. Fifteen Lovabon. We got five and a half gallons of water in here. We've already added one teaspoon of gypsum, one teaspoon of calcium chloride, and two point five teaspoons of the phosphoric 10%. So um, we did that prior to um, even heating up the water. And so it's gotten to 165. We're gonna be adding in all the grains into the mash or for the mash. Now this is double milled. As our usual always procedure. Yep. Oh, and we got a new bag. We got a brew in the bag yes. bag this time. So we just bought this bag, and we've used it. How many times have we used it now? Um, not that often. Two or three. Yeah. So so far it's holding up okay. We'll see how it handles compared with some of the other bags we've had in the past. Joseph is asleep right now. You can tell by the quiet. Woo! <laughs> no pterodactyl in the background. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we're trying to mash in here at about 150. Uh, I don't know if you saw the dial, it was at 175 when I stopped it, but it looked like it read a little bit higher. It was still less than 170, but I think we should be good. Traditionally, my box are strong, malty, may, my means may in German, uh, lagers that are drank in spring, and it is spring. All right, we're all mashed in. Let's see what we're looking at. Looks like we're a little higher. Looks like 150. Yep, 157, yep, one, somewhere yeah. between there. Yeah, we'll call it one. Yeah, let's call it 157. That looks like it's pretty well right on the line. So a little higher than we wanted, but that's okay. It'll make beer. Ooh. <laughs> Strong husband. Woo. All right, so we're sparging now. We're back to using this um, colander. colander again. Um, the previous one we had uh, recently broke. So yeah, there's a limit to how many <laughs> greens you can put on top of some of these. Um, so we're on the lookout for one that's the right size for our kettle, for our spike kettle, but um, yeah, we haven't found one that we uh, want to pull the trigger on just yet, so we're just, we'll find something I'm sure. So anyway, cool. Yeah, we're gonna um, let this kind of stream for a minute and then we'll sparge and add more water on top. So, JJ's just holding baby boy. Say hi, Joseph. hi, Joseph. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. You want to say hi? Hey, buddy. Hi. You want to say hi to mommy? Hi. Oh, it's a big baby yawn. Woke up from your nap. Hey, sweetheart. Ooh, Ooh yeah, that light. Ooh, that light. Okay, so now we're sparging, uh, which is simply rinsing the grains. Uh, we have four and a half-ish in the kettle right now. And so we're gonna use all three gallons and that should put us at about seven and a half. And uh, we'll do like a 90 minute boil. Uh, maybe we'll get a little more flavor off of it. I see a lot of things on the internet uh, about adding more flavor to multi beers at boiling longer. And so we're gonna go ahead and do it today. Uh, depending on how much we get. But like I said, I'm pretty sure we'll hit about seven and a half. Uh, and then I think we will also add another teaspoon of gypsum and calcium chloride, just because that's what I like to do. 
Uh, you don't think it hit? What? Have you have you tested it yet? No, I didn't test it. Okay. I was like, I don't recall seeing you do that. So uh, what I've been doing in the last couple beers is uh, we have a pretty good tribal knowledge of uh, pH on different varieties of beers so far. And uh, so I haven't been measuring our most recent ones. I've just been using my best judgment. And uh, it turned out fine. But also one of the reasons why I've been doing it is because the, what do you call it? The calibration fluid, we're out of calibration fluid for um, the meter. So we haven't replaced that yet. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, well, that's another thing to go on the shopping list. Yep. Okay. But, um, so last time we brewed this recipe, we put three uh, teaspoons of Let's phosphoric acid hey. and hit 5.2 yeah. mash pH. This time hey, buddy. we did two oh, and a half. Giggling. Okay. We did two and a half because I replaced the light Munich with dark, dark Munich at the end, so it's slightly darker. Uh, so slightly less acid. And even if we, you know, are in like the 5.45 range, wouldn't bother me any. That, you know, it'll still be good. Joseph, a little drink, and then you're gonna help daddy pour in the water? You're gonna help daddy pour in the water? Oh, yeah, that's right. Just like that, sweetheart. Hey, buddy. Oh, drink, drink, drink. And then pour in the water. Good job. Yeah. That's right, sparging with daddy. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> It's going to add a flavor component that we won't be able to identify later. That's right. <laughs> Tastes sticky. <laughs> exactly. All right, y'all. So we've been boiling for 30 minutes, and we're going to be adding our 60-minute addition. So we got laurel. We got one ounce. So we're just going to dump her on in. Great, Joseph. Yep, I feel you pulling on me. I love you too, sweetheart. Oh, what are you doing? Do you want me to flip you a bit, dude? Here we go. Okay, let's go to the carpet. <laughs> oh! Alright, y'all, so we've hit our 15 minute. So we're going to be adding in one ounce of laurel, one teaspoon of yeast nutrient, and a work block. I know, sweet pea. So we're going to just dump the laurel hops in there. Here's the yeast nutrient. And then, work block. Okay. 15 more minutes. And we have the wart chiller in here sanitizing. Well, that's pretty close to what I saw. Six. And six, two. Yeah, it looks to be about, what are you doing? Stop that. I'm trying to get it to yeah. focus. See how it's like not focusing? But then I put my hand behind it and then it's like, oh, hello. It's like 6.3 to me. 1.063. Do you agree with that? 6.3, maybe 6.2 or 1. 6.2. Maybe 6.3. Okay, maybe it's 6.3. I don't know. Yeah, 6.3. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I think. I don't know. I can't tell. It, I think I'm coming around to your side. I think it's about... I think it's... I'm gonna call it six one. You think it's six one? 
6-1? I think it's 6-1. You think it's 6-1-2? Also, the last time we did this, I we ended up with 1.061, so that's about dead on. Okay, JJ. We, what, uh, what you got there? We have WLPA 20, Oktoberfest, Lager Yeast. Mm -hmm. It came in this cool new pitch right pouch Word. Uh, from White Labs. Uh, supposedly, you don't really need to make a starter with this one, but I went ahead and did it anyways. Uh, so here's our product. Boop. Yep. And this guy will... All you the always trunk. use that, you like to use that can. I don't remember that brand name of that can for like... Uh, yeah, I don't know either. Uh, for the it's starter. Really convenient. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you can look at this, it looks like it's going to be uh, nice and yellow. We got a lot of trub in there, and all of this is due to the uh, Whirlflock tablet. It's all the sediment uh, grabbing next to each other, and it'll get Attenuate down. out. Yeah, it'll flock out. It'll, it's fine. Okay, so, yep. Here we go. Here we go. As I said, we hit about 6-1, uh, which is... Ironically, exactly the... Uh, oh, uh, okay, I'm going. Okay. I'm going to get what? the other S one, though. I like the S one better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Need to mm -hmm. ah! sure it, Oh, yeah, that's over here. Oh, yeah, I forgot that was there. 51 degrees. Okay, right on. So, it's basically exactly what we want. Mm-hmm. Good, good night, good night, beer. <laughs> Night night beer. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Joseph, what'd you get? That's Thank not you. for you. Thank you. No, you're okay. No, 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 no. You're okay, okay, okay. I'm so sorry. Daddy took that away. Oh, I know. Oh, Daddy's giving you something else. See? See? Ooh, this is cool. This is cool. Bubble? We don't got no bubbles right now. There's no bubbles. It's not bubbling yet. That's not food. That's a bag that had yeast in it at one point. Yeah. Smack, smack, smack. Smack the box. Bud. Clean, 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 clean. What's Daddy doing, Joseph? What's Daddy doing? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Hi. Hello. Hello. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh-oh, uh-oh, are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, hi, sweetheart. Yeah? No, you haven't lost steam yet? Where are we going? Where are we going? You want to go back to the house? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. It's a good day. It's a good day. Oh, no. Oh, look, there's Daddy. Are you happy to see Daddy? Yeah, it's Daddy. <laughs> oh. Okay, so JJ told me to come into the garage and check out the beer because he said he thought it was attenuating really coolly. So, let's let this rain. It's only been like a few minutes. Interesting. Huh. All right. Yep. That's a little trub at the bottom. And all right, y'all. So it's been three weeks, and we're down to one point zero thirteen. It's like yeah. And we've just finished transferring the beer into the keg, so. It'll be ready here pretty well, soon. 
Six point three. You didn't say that yet. I did now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, JJ. JJ's just Some been putting petroleum jelly on uh, the uh, line. Lube is important. Oh my gosh, JJ. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Okay, so it's tasting notes day. So we're going to be checking its appearance, its aroma, its taste, its body, and its our overall general impression. So first off, the appearance. So it might be hard to tell from the condensation, but it is a nice, very golden color. We got a nice white head on it. As you can see here, it's starting to go down a little bit, but we still got some there. So let's see. The smell, we got a little tiny bit of sulfur, but like nothing overwhelming. It's been lagering for a few weeks now. Um, so it's, you know, it's not crazy. It's pretty good. So and then let's go in for a taste. It's very crisp. It's bright. It's got maltiness to it. It's got a little bit of zest from our hops and I like it. So yeah, overall, I would say this is amazing. I would definitely drink this. It's quite crushable. The mouthfeel is super crisp. So yeah, good deal. Cheers. Go brew a beer.